Raw and daughter. you have, um, I've met you, you have a darker wife. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Safe to say that. Safe to say, yeah. Yeah. Um, beautiful lady, very charming. Um, Bridget, is that her name? Uh, Brittany. Brittany. Yeah. Brittany, is that her name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, was that, did that, and did, like, just growing up in Philly lead you to that, you think? Dude, I don't know. kind of a chocolatey bride kind I've, of? Since I was a little kid, it's almost, there's, my only theory is, because in grade school, I, like, dated a Mexican lady, I, I and I've dated everybody, I've dated, you know, like, white ladies, everything, yeah. but that was definitely, you know, that was something I was drawn to, or black women mm. forever, but my only theory is my mom was, like, super Christian, she still is. Super Catholic, so she blocked like MTV, VH1, all the music channels except for BET because she didn't know it existed. So that was the only music channel I had growing up. So as a, in my formative years, I just watched rap video after rap video, and it, I think it might have had some sort of effect. Yeah. So that's Bitch my only. Better thing. have my money. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's yeah. Wow, that's so interesting, dude. Yeah, dude. I remember I made love to a woman who was pretty much black. Right. And uh. Yeah, it was definitely, there was like more in the um, muscle or something. I don't know. It could yeah, you felt you were impressed by the experience. What do you say pretty much? She was like, what do you? She said she was black. I believed her. True. <laughs> True. You know, I'm not, yeah, I'm not fucking looking at paperwork or whatever. I'm not fucking <laughs> proving it. You know? Yeah, no. My whoop bracelet was like, black, you know, it pops up on there. Yeah, I just, you know what, for me, I, I they, they definitely won out for me as well. They won my heart. Collectively, they won my heart. Really? Then, yeah. I just, I, I don't know what it was, man. It was just like, yeah, you like what you like, you know? And it oh, was, yeah. I think I was afraid probably of black girls growing up. They had a lot of the black girls in our town and stuff would get knocked up by the black eyes at a young age. Yeah. So yeah. all of our black girls disappeared at around 13 years old and got pregnant. Yeah. And they in come our back area. and they're, yeah, it's, they're And then they now. come back and they're just different or mm -hmm. they just like... Um, yeah, they have a child now or they yeah. have like baby milk on their shoulder or whatever. <laughs> um, and also I think they had to defend themselves against like a, like black, like dudes in their town or whatever that were like trying to, you know, get with them when they were young. Yeah. So I think they were more into the whole, like communicating with guys nature. So I think like a lot of times they would, um, like they were just more advanced. Like the black kids in our school were more sexually advanced. They just had sex earlier and stuff. Yeah, so I yeah. think that was intimidating. The black girls were intimidating because they had more experience. Yeah, it's funny. Sometimes you talk to a black guy. He's like, I got head when I was 10. And you're like, what? <laughs> like, <what's laughs> you're like, for real? <laughs> yeah, like, sorry, dude. Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> this place just went out of business. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, true. You, you do hear that a lot. You're not wrong. Sorry. Yeah. You're fine. <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> Dude, imagine getting hit when you're, bro, if somebody put it's my crazy. wiener, okay, that bro. God made for me that I kept in my pants for him. <laughs> If somebody put that in their mouth when I was 10 years old, dude, oh my God, I would have freaking, oh, I would have lit a fire in our yard and made smoke signals. <laughs> it's over, For dude. God to come help us. <laughs> There's no it's way. over. It's over. It would, I would, I don't know how, it's crazy. I would have hit him with a wrench or something. I just, <laughs> that would have scared me so much. So that's what's so, but yeah, so that was kind of crazy. Sorry, I don't know if I spit on you or not, but I no, you did. It's yeah, fine. That was good that was anyway. Hilarious. Um, yeah, that yeah, that 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 kind of stuff's pretty crazy. And then, um, I, no, I get the intimidation factor. I do get, but I I always uh, whenever I have, I like will see people, and I always just assume I always see like softer sides of it. It's something I've had my whole life. Where I'll, like, I can see like kind of like I don't know. I always can see people softer nature because people present one way, then you're like with them. And oh it's yeah, like it's a totally different thing. I would date a black woman, dude. I'd probably maybe marry a black woman. You know, yeah. like I don't. I think when I was a kid, I thought that that wasn't a real possibility or anything. That makes sense. Yeah. But as an adult, I see that. Oh, that's a possibility. Like I think also just from where I was from, they didn't have like a lot of interracial dating at the time. You know, it was it was even like you know I lived in like the I lived in the Philadelphia suburbs, so it was like very 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 white where I was growing up. But like. Even in college, uh, some of my friends would come up to me and be like, that's crazy, dude. They, like, couldn't wrap their head around it. Yeah. And it wasn't, like, a hateful thing. They are just no. like, it was just a mind blower. They'd be like, bro, it's, it's 
It's crazy. The funny thing to me, though, is like black dudes are always like, hey, man, you scared to date a black chick? And I'm like, you aren't dating a black chick. <laughs> yeah. Every fucking black dude isn't dating a black chick. But the first thing they say is, oh, you scared of some of that black chick? They get hyped on you. When they see you with a black chick, they'll get hyped. And then sometimes they'll be like, you're an easy target. I can kind of like, I'll fuck with you. Or, or they'll do like a hard checkout on your babe. You have to just go nuts. You gotta, yeah. get, you gotta get white boy crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so if they do like a damn, you have to be like, what the fuck's your fucking You have to yeah. spaz because you can't, you can't tolerate that. So you gotta, I've gone white boy crazy a couple of times. Yeah, but, you're like, I'm over here doing your job, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Well, dude, apparently black women and Asian men are the, uh, like Asian women tend to date outside the race a lot. Black men date outside the race a lot. But black women and Asian men tend to not date outside the race a lot. So like the yin and yang twins or whatever? Like, what are you saying? <laughs> no, they're, they're just- So black and Asian do not date. Well, black men will date outside the race where traditionally black women tend to not date outside oh, the race. Oh, wow. So it's just that. And Asian women date white guys a lot, but a lot of Asian men don't date outside of the race. So That's it, it kind of like fucks you up in the dating pool. Yeah. So, but yeah, I think black women are coming around though. But yeah, they were, they were uh, fiercely loyal. It, it, it's still, you get a little, people are, uh, you know, it, it, it does, some people don't like it, obviously. You know, you get people who are, like, big into, like, black love where they're, like, it's not the same. And I'm, like, whatever, man, that's your thing. Yeah, it's not, yeah, but, yeah, it's not your fault. Exactly. It, it's, I don't, I don't feel any kind of way about it, but it's just, like, you know, celebrate that if you want. That's fine. Yeah. You know, but it's, like. Dude, I remember the first time I, like, even, like, I was working out with a buddy of mine, a black guy, right? Mm -hmm. And he, like, touched my hand. He was helping spot me or something. And I was, like, damn, I never even touched a black dude's hand <laughs> or nothing. They have beautiful nails, too. Dude, there's, like, a. There's like a level of like black coolness where you grow one pinky nail long so you can crack a blunt with your long pinky nail. It's pretty oh, sick. Wow. Yeah. It's like a, it was like a evolution of the coke nail. But you can kind of just Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can just crack a blunt with a long pinky nail. Oh, being nail. black definitely there's a lot of parts that seem super fun about it and then there's some parts that I'm kind of like, man, nah, yeah, yeah. that's that part that is not for me. I couldn't handle that. It's definitely I think it's easier than a uh, black dude dating a white chick. Cuz like, everyone's just kind of like, you know, people are just People just kind of like, like first when you first meet him, will like kind of giggle and be like, oh, you like, you know, oh, you like black girl, you know, shit like that. And like kind of dap you up and you're like, yeah. sweet. Whereas like, I feel like the black, maybe it's different now, but back in the day, like being a black dude at like a white family party, there was definitely some uncles hitting you with like icicles in the eyes, just yeah. glaring at you. Like, what, what you doing on? over there? Right? I had my one friend was a black dude and he was, he was dating a white chick and he said like her brother would ask him like weird shit being like, what do you think? You're? He would get drunk and be like. What you, like we should he was a wrestler and he'd be like let's wrestle right now Ugh. he'd be like bro chill man like we don't have to do this yeah yeah it was so that dude's gay probably but I, I think black dudes um, aren't threatened by white dudes as much as white dudes might be threatened by black guys well yeah because they don't have to be because they can always beat up white dudes yeah bigger dicks <laughs> statistically bigger dicks can beat you up some of that's a rumor first of all I've heard but it's yeah the, a lot of the ones on the internet yes they <laughs> <laughs> They've done condom sizing studies and like it's it's not as much of a difference as you think, but there's there's a difference. Dude, the last thing I would want to have is some big old long dick bothering me all day, dude. <laughs> I hear you on that. Yeah. I'm high and tight. I'm ready for action. <laughs> I'm ready for I'm action at all times. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for action at all times. Oh, I'm fucking I got that John Stockton, homie, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll help you out, bro. I'll try to assist you in whatever you're headed. <laughs> I'm here, dude. I'm ready to run. I'm, um, sport, I'm in sport mode. What was I just going to ask you about? Yeah, is there's, well, there's, a lot, there's definitely some white comics married to black women. I think T.J. Miller, I believe. Um, Gary Owens. Gary Owens, yeah. yeah. Um, Who else? There's you, Bill Burr. Bill, yeah, Bill Burr. Bill Maher. Bill Maher's there married to a black lady? Oh, he loves... Dating. It's crazy. He loves uh That was a head to head. That was a black wife head to head, Bill Maher and Bill Burr. They were both dressed pretty good too. They both were black wife affected and they got they argued over like there's Israel and Palestine. Oh, now. they did? Yeah, they had, it was like a fucking viral clip. Really? Yeah, Let's they hear it. They fucking fu it's kind of funny. Let's hear it. Bill Burr um, was ruthless. What is black wife affected? Let me get that and then let's watch the uh -oh. clip, can it? Just when you start dressing better because your wife's black and they, oh, they really yeah. don't tolerate like if you're not dressed well. Like they'll I I fought along. I'm I hold it down, you know. I still wear kind of like bummy stuff, but they'll they'll wear on you. Yeah, black people like to look nice. Yeah, it's important. It's very important. And like, you, and at weddings, it's the opposite. Like, you have to dance. If you don't dance at a wedding, people are like, "What the fuck's your problem?" Really? White wedding, you'd sit in a chair the whole time. <gasps> oh yeah, it's a lot of pressure to dance. Yeah, you can gamble on your phone. Even <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Yeah, you're like, I object. You know, <laughs> but yeah. you're just so gay, sister, or whatever. You can't <laughs> help but yell it. 